Well, when you've got a big project like this, such as biking right around the whole world, and they've been gone a year already, how do you live? How do you live? Where do you get money from? First, we don't spend a lot of money. No, very little. Yeah, we only buy some food, a lot of well, food. That's a big budget, that's right. <laughs> Now, l life is not very expensive when you're always traveling because we stopped everything back in France, so we don't have any rent, any flat, anything anymore, no car. So basically, once you've paid for the big things in the trip, like the bike or the flying tickets, the rest of it is very little. We calculated that in eight months in South America, uh, we spent approximately what we would have spent in one month in France. Oh, really? Mm. Yes. Can you work <coughs> while you're going around, if you want to? Uh, I should we think can. so. We had done it just for three weeks in Hastings, in New Zealand. Yes. We picked up the fruit, apples. We picked apples. Yes. I bet you ate more than you picked. Uh. We did eat <laughs> a lot, that's right. Hopefully no. <laughs> now, while you were in was it, was, it, was it in Peru or Argentina where you met the lady that you called your Earth Mother? Or she was called an Earth Mother? Uh, we, we call her that way because of the experience we had with her and with her partner. It was in North Argentina. It's an area which is a bit mixed between Argentinian culture and Bolivian culture. And we met this couple in a small village and they worship Earth Mother as a god. And we just pop out the day of the, the annual anniversary of Earth Mother and got invited to a ceremony. Oh. So, that's mm. why so I got that story all wrong, didn't I, really? Uh, no, because it's a... Uh, they it's worship the Earth Mother. She wasn't Earth Mother. Mm. No, but we, mm. we called her... You called her Earth Mother. Us too, yeah, because of the experience yeah. we, we had with her. Now, I think we've got some... Um, footage that you have shot we've been talking about this and, and how you can access it on the internet and I think we have got something to look at maybe while you're in Peru mm -hmm. I think so yes. let's have a look
bring back memories? Yes, <laughs> what yes, quite a lot. Beautiful footage. <laughs> Now okay. we can go to your website and have a look at that. 52 of those clips mm -hmm. that we can look at. Yes, 52 online. We're working on four or five new ones about New Zealand. Oh, great. So we'll have yes. a look at those. So where do you guys go to next after, after you've finished New Zealand? Australia. Australia. Mm. And you're going to go right That's around country. Australia? Not quite. Not uh, quite. Uh, <laughs> short part. That could be a couple <laughs> of years. Too, yes. too big. Too big. We, we don't know whether we're going from Sydney down to Melbourne or from Sydney up to Brisbane or something in that general direction. Mm. And then Probably. after Australia? Asia. 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 Mm. Yeah. But no idea where. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to know, you know, with the relationships between countries and some borders are closed, some other are not. We, we've got project, humanitarian projects in India and Nepal. So the two are definite destinations, but apart from that, improvisation. And when do you plan on being back in France? Ooh, more than one year, one year and a half. Ooh. One and a half mm. years mm. away. Well, guys, thanks very much for joining us here today. Pleasure. And just telling yeah. a little bit of your story, because <laughs> it's certainly a great adventure. So great to meet you both. Thank you. Great to Thank meet you, you too. Joe. Thank you for joining us today on In Depth. We'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. funding from New Zealand on air. If it's happening in Canterbury, it's happening right here on your home channel, CTV. Programs to catch this winter in 2008. So coming up very shortly, we have got Fergie McCormick, the full so the full documentary. Whoa, just ducked out, just managed to catch that. I oh. thought you were going to do some weeding. It's raining, and this is not a roof; it's a shade cloth. Oh, this is the hard What's... life of growing wasabi. The Avenue de Champagne in Épernay, France. Its name alone is redolent of effervescent luxury. February 2002. The satellite Envisat is launched into its assigned orbit. Hello and welcome to Culture Express. We're going to give you all the latest from the world of arts and pop culture. However, the debate on the best method to provide power for the future has not yet ended. On the Lincoln University dairy farm, we've been monitoring the groundwater. It's time to get your financial house in order and put your money to work. A new year may require new investments. Olympic heroes. I heard a nasty rumour that Dr. Bollard has been given a, an all expenses paid holiday. Hello and welcome. This is the Journal on DW TV. I'm Shane Fankhauser in Berlin. He skipped two grades and his admission to Harvard is already in the bag. The top 10 most romantic films of all time. I saw it on CTV, your home.